Mm-hmm. I specifically bought that for you so I would have whiskey to drink the next time I stayed over at your house. But you didn't last time. Yep, that's true. And now you're drinking it. A lot of it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think I just poured too much. Yeah, but, I um, definitely did. But I, and Michael, I think I need it because I'm about to be incredibly um, honest and brave with you on this oh, really? episode. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, you teased that to me earlier. Go ahead. What do you got? Yeah. You want to start? You want to go right into it? I think we go straight into it because mm. it, it has a link to what we might be talking about later in this episode. There's okay. there's a bridge. And I want you to just bear with me here, uh, Mike, because I'm going to tell yeah. a story. Okay. I'm going to tell a story of about wishes and manifestation mm-hmm. and being careful what you wish for. Okay. So, as you know, on the weekend, it was my birthday. Mm-hmm. Woohoo. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No I, one cares it, when you're 33. Sorry. No one cares when you're 33. <laughs> yeah. um, and I, I it had a great weekend. Uh, see that that signed uh, Titans ball back there, a new addition to the mantelpiece. That was thanks to our dear friend Mike and Harry and Lyle. So I uh, thank mm. you for that. It's beautiful. Looks Lyle uh, was barely involved, to be fair. I, I imagine. Barely involved. Signed by a number of Titans players and former yeah. legends. Mm-hmm. Preston Campbell, Matt Rogers on there. So thank you for that. Um, and on the weekend, it, it, I had a huge weekend. We had family mm-hmm. dinner, uh, house party with all my friends the next day, which was a fantastic day. And let me—I'm going to take you back here. So it was my birthday yep. on Friday. Yes. And on Friday, I went and had a family dinner, got some nice presents, had some nice time, had the party the next day. And I was thinking to myself as I was going to bed, I'm—I'm I'm laying in bed, thinking to myself. I got I had the family, I had my friends. The only way this birthday weekend could be any better is if I had some sort of feminine company, mm-hmm. right? Yes. And I um, was just thinking about it, and I just looked over and just like tapped my phone just to check what the time was, and it was eleven <laughs> eleven. Right? Yes. Okay, so bear with me here. And yeah. I'm not I'm not a very I'm not a spiritual person. I'm not a religious person. Um, but in that moment, I was like, you know what? It's my birthday. I'm mm-hmm. going to make a birthday wish at 11.11. Yeah. 11. Like in the mm-hmm. moment, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. And Let's do it. Let's make a wish. Yeah. So I, again, this is me. This is me being very honest and open with you right I'm, now. It's I'm kind here, of, kind of, it's kind, it's kind of embarrassing. I will not bully you. So I wished for to have a date mm-hmm. with a cute girl in the next seven days, I specifically said seven days. Okay. I have a cute girl, a date with a, a cute date with a cute girl that I feel a spark with, because that doesn't always happen, that I feel yeah. a connection with. Mm-hmm. And I get a kiss and we have a great date. Yeah. That was my wish. Okay. Next morning I wake up. I had a little bit of time as before we get to the party. And I was just on my phone, just having a little hinge. Little mm-hmm. a little scroll through hinge. Mm-hmm. Liked a girl, found a girl. Yeah. Liked her, sent a little message. Sure enough, she matches with me soon after that. Yeah. We have a little back and forth. Mm-hmm. Then I have the party, focus on the party. Yeah. Next day, she's keen for a date. She's keen, she's so keen for a date, she wants to have a date Sunday night. Okay. Fuck it. Yeah. You gotta strike while the iron's hot with this sort of thing as well. Absolutely. I was thinking to myself, mm, is it too soon to ask her out tonight? And she was like, How about tonight? And I was Let's like go. Read my mind. I'm, I'm hung over. Let's go. I was thinking going down in my head. I was thinking, let's go down to Burley. Let's mm-hmm. um, grab a drink, grab some ice cream. Yeah. Before I even said it, she she said, let's go down to Burley and I hang out sauce. there. And I said, you read my mind. Yeah. I'm thinking, universe, have I have I have I manifested something here? Have I wished have something? I have I figured ha- something out? On the 33rd birthday at 11 11. You yeah. have made a wish, and it's seemingly coming true so far. Exactly. So yeah. I go on this date, right? Yeah. Meet this girl. Uh, she's very much my type. Super mm-hmm. cute, super bubbly. We have the best time. We vibe. We have so much in common. Could uh, she comfortably fit in a canoe? Yes, definitely okay. could. Good. All right. Um, and uh, we have a great time. Time's flying by. Have a mm-hmm. pizza. Have a drink leave we go get ice cream you know we're holding hands you know yep. uh we're being very cute yep. um we go down eat the ice cream near the beach sit down there and we share a cute little kiss 
Oh, okay. It's a, it's, I, I'm thinking to myself, universe. Where's the hammer? Gift. Like, where's the hammer going to drop? <laughs> like, yeah, right. So, yeah. Uh, uh, fantastic. And we hang, we go for a little walk and then eventually take her back to her car. She goes home. I drive home. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, holy shit. Why haven't I been doing this all the time? Wishing. Wishing. At 11 11. Yeah. <laughs> Manifesting this. Um, but here's the thing, Mike. Yeah. You got to be really specific with your wish. <laughs> Because the next day, I check yeah. in with her, and she gives me the flick. She says she doesn't want a second date. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, had a good time, but I don't think we're compatible. Hang on. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. Here's yep. the thing. Here's the thing, right? <laughs> you dirty I, man. In my wish, <laughs> every single thing came true. Date yeah. with a cute girl in the next seven days that I felt a spark with. Get a kiss. I did not wish for a second date. Yeah, no, nah, you didn't. You didn't wish for it to go on forever. You should have done that. You. I know. Is she, she completely gone from the app? Uh, she pretty much. Uh, we're so we got to show her on Instagram. So really, yeah. we're, we're head to the, the the next level. So she's gonna get the newsletter, but um. <laughs> it, that and <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, no. So um, that happened, right? I yeah. went through that experience, and I was reflecting on that experience. Yes. And I feel like it could potentially, and I, I want to be careful with my words here, because as we know, is that if you tell someone what you wished for, it won't come true. That's right. Right. That's yeah. age old wisdom. That's written in stone. So I got to be yes. careful about how I speak from now on. Hopefully, mm -hmm. you meet me yeah this this wishing hack that i've mm -hmm. uh, discovered yeah um could potentially be used by say you and i who have a very common interest in a certain result um mid-year type result next month or so mm. an unlikely result mm. that maybe you and i could band together and potentially double wish. makes Double yeah, wish, double wish it, yeah, and and yeah. manifest a certain thing happening. I pick up. I think I'm picking up what you're putting down. I think I do. It's the dogs to make the top eight, isn't it? <laughs> I I don't think they need our help. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was that it? Welcome to another episode of Just a Tip. I'm your host, Mike. Thank you, Matt. Wow, what a great story time that was. That was terrific. Thank you. I ben would have that. interrupted that so many fucking times. Holy shit. I, I was thinking that. Well, I, I had this in the can, <laughs> and when he pulled out of tonight, I thought to myself, yeah, yes. good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. Yeah, we, we, we need to weaponize that wishing, and I'm sorry that you, you might get a call back. You never know. These sorts of things, I feel like with these sorts of things, once you let go, that's when it comes mm. back, you know? Yeah, it's very true. Yeah. And it's... I'm going to need to see some photos when we're done. Don't let me forget. I, I will I will show you some photos. But hey, it's not the first time it's happened to me. Hey. And it's not the first time I've done it to other girls. You know, it's just circle of life. Say lovey. What can you do? Say lovey. Um wow, what a week in rugby league it was, huh? Did, did you watch the game yesterday? Yes, I did. It was Dude. lovely to have a Monday game. It was nice. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. I was like Homer, um, lying on the couch, just being like, I love these lazy Sunday afternoons. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. it's Wednesday. I was like, yeah. oh my God, the footy's on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was It was good. And it was a good game too. Yeah. Cracker of a game. It was a hell of a game. I, um, I was watching it, loving it. I was up, clapping, walking around because I, I tipped the dogs and I stuck with mm -hmm. it. I stuck to it. Um, we're moving out as uh, keen listeners of the show's will, show will know. Uh, we're moving out soon. Uh, Jess was downstairs trying to flip my old double bed um she's like selling it to some guys a uh, pleasant very pleasant uh iranian man in azerbaijan man came to pick it up uh, yeah. and just before that last try the dogs made jess called out to me and was like hey doll and i was like what and then just like she didn't respond she did that classic thing your mom does it's just like it means come here and i was yeah. just like Absolutely not. No. I'm <laughs> they were down there trying to de deconstruct what I had already deconstructed. And yeah, no, nah, I was mm. not having it. Um, very happy. You couldn't. Yeah. Fuck, I love the dogs. Something about yeah. them. I know I you them. do. And you tipped them too. So you got a yeah. double win. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I, I tipped, I tipped the eels, uh, but uh, yeah, they, you know, you could say that did the eels throw it away? The dogs played really well. Yeah. What was it? It was like ten. It was like eleven to two penalty count. Like mm. the eels had twenty. Oh, sorry, eleven penalties go their way or something like that. So yeah, yeah. eels beat themselves more or less. Uh, what else happened in that week? Um, I don't. Uh, yeah, nah. I mean, I guess Queensland beat New South Wales is fucking bullshit as well. We won't that go was, on that. That's like six days ago. That's, we're yeah. looking forward now. Okay. Yeah. Everybody has said everything that we would have already said. Um, I, I, I would like to talk about the Blues team mm-hmm. in, yeah, in yeah. going forward. If if you if you'd be interested. For sure. <clears throat> so, okay. I want. I want to. Because as we know, some changes are going to have to happen. Suli uh, is not going to play, right? So yep. we know there's at least one change, likely yep. going to be more. Mike, you're the coach mm-hmm. of New South Wales. Yes. What changes are you making? Um, well, you know me. You know me. I like Kiraz, uh in, in the center. Or is he, he's the winger for the dogs, hey? Yeah, that's a Good wild oh, pick, Karaz. They're on. He just like fuck, man. I just, I just love the dogs. I don't know. What are my options at center to replace him? Uh, well, Trell, I mean, Trell, Trell Mitt, Trell Mitt uh, fit. Bradman Best is back this week. Brady Best. We'll have to see how he does. How would we got? We've got this weekend, next weekend, and then it's the, the week ju- after that. It's it's just it's this weekend, and then this. Uh, oh, then they go and get picked. Then they go into camp. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you. I mean, it's got to be Trell Mitt if fit, right? Uh, I think so. It, he he smashed the Titans, obviously, but you know, not hard. Uh, mm. He did look a little off at points, but you know, I would, yeah, he's fine. I think Trell Mitt is fit. Number one, um, number two, Karaz. Uh, probably a bit too soon to go with Bronson Sherry, right? Uh, Critter's already yeah. there. Brant, Brant, Bradman Best, even Matt Burton could play centre. Yeah, Matt Burton hasn't played centre in a long time, which is a great concern to me. I feel like he's a better 14. Uh, mm. like Or like, a, yeah, just the 14 who's never going to take the field, potentially. Um, yeah, that's my answer, I think. Trell Mitt, if it... Bradman Best probably hasn't played enough. Uh, am I... I don't think Luai did enough to lose his job. I think maybe Nico wasn't pizzazzy enough for me. Mm. I think if Nico is more... Uh, sorry, if... Jerome can do what Nico did. We can get another six who is different or complements what Jerome is going to do. Um, and it's tell me a year ago that we'd be talking about Jerome Luai being the, the dominant half. Um, yeah. And, and being happy with it, being fine with it. Uh, I feel like Cody Walker would be a good complement. Um, I mean, I don't think Mitchell Moses and Jerome Luai would complement each other, but yeah, fuck, whatever. Um, who was I thinking in my head? Matt? Burton has got that deadly fucking bomb on him. Um, yeah. And he was having a ripper yesterday as well. So, yeah. Deadly bomb. Matty Burt, I don't know, man. I'm glad I'm not actually the coach. I'm only the coach in this hypothetical. Um, yeah. What do you think? <clears throat> yeah, it's um, it's a tricky one. I think, I think probably coach is going to go with his original plan. Dylan Edwards, if he's fit, is going to replace Tedesco at mm-hmm. one. I'd say that's probably the case. Yeah. Um, and then uh, there's a lot of talk of Moses replacing Hines. I look watching that game last week. Hines has definitely got definitely got talent. Uh, he's definitely got brought some good things. He kicked the bomb to Lomax in the corner for his try. But in general, his kicking game just wasn't as pinpoint, wasn't as good, wasn't as good as Cherry Evans's. And you got Mitch Moses, who has a really good kicking game. And played really good, not yesterday, but the week before. Yeah, I mean, he didn't, didn't win on the weekend, but, he, you know, he's he's certainly brings a lot in attack, probably just as much as Hines does. So, and he's played there before, more experienced at, in that position at Mo, than Hines. So maybe he comes in, quite, you know, does Luai keep a spot or does the coach just decide to go with entirely new halves pairing, just go Burton, Moses? Moses does the long kicks for pinpoint accuracy. Burton hoists it in the fucking air, sends yeah. it to the stars, yeah. and then just lets Queensland try to deal with it. That's I, I don't know if that's fair. Luai's been okay, but we said about the start of the season, Luai, he just hasn't done it yeah. for New South Wales. 
He so, hasn't. Um, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I would do. Okay. And I'm tossing and turning. Edwards yes. comes in for Teddy. Yeah. Moses comes in for Hines. Yeah. I think either Burton comes in for Luai and Luttrell center. Mm -hmm. Or Luai stays and Burton center. Okay. In either case, I want Burton as, as many times as possible to be fucking hoofing them balls into the stratosphere. Yeah. Um, and then you know, my four team, if if um, my four team, Connor Watson. Yes. He's, he's back this week. Pray that he is fine. He can last another two weeks. Well, because he's he covers hooker. Mm -hmm. He can play as a 13, a quick 13, uh, you know, Ruben Cotter style. Yes. But he can also play center and he can play in the halves he is the best yeah. utility and, that we else have and he's hot as fuck and he's hot as fuck <laughs> right he's scorching <laughs> he's so hot yeah and he yeah, replaces I, hudson young in my side i love that we've got a, just so many options i love it and i hate it at the same time that's what i'm going with uh we'll see what the coach does and if he did picks other something other than the, that what i picked um he's wrong Unless he wins, in which case, yeah, I don't we do. Know what I'm talking about. We do have, as New South Welshmen, we do have a propensity to uh, swap our halves out willy nilly after yeah, one we go. Do. You know, we we sure certainly laughing. do. <laughs> yeah, probably shouldn't, but you know what can you do? Um, dog's gonna bark. Yeah. Question. Uh, question for you, Mike. Before we move on, yes. um, in a perfect world where every single Blues player is healthy, mm -hmm. who is the first choice halves pairing? Uh, probably, yeah, probably Naif and Moses, I think. Moses, Nathan is, Moses? Yeah, obviously, yeah, Moses is 5'8", probably. And they have, like, adequate time to practice, like, the week before, and no one gets injured the entire mm. fucking thing. Yeah, Naif, big Naif, big Mos. Am I thinking That's, of, yeah. am I missing any 5'8s? I think, I don't think so, but um, Moses and Nathan are both dominant halves at their club, yeah. so yeah. I don't know if they would... Uh, get in each other's way or oh, not? Yeah, it's what is that? Is that a bug? No, a little uh, piece of my um, <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, okay. headphones <laughs> fell off. Oh, oh. Anyways, let's yeah. Move on. I feel like yeah, Moses would just have to get the fuck out of the way in this hypothetical. Yeah. Um, man, uh, Jeff took the Tigers. <laughs> Error. Mm. <laughs> Everybody else took the Dragons. They pumped him in the second half. Uh, we all took. The not we all, but you, me, Benjamin, old and Jeff took the Rabbitohs. Everybody else took the Titans for some fucking reason. Come on. Yeah, they should have known. Everybody in my work comp took the Titans as well. I was like, what are you guys doing? Like, do you even yeah. watch? Like, you you gotta mm. you gotta read the 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 tea leaves, read the stars. And as we know, I said it last week, Titans. I don't think are the team that wins two in a row this year. I, yeah, and I, I feel like the Rabbitohs were like a big set of blue balls with mm. like a a cock that's pre-coming and and just looking at that and being like mm, no i'm not i'm gonna stay under this thing i'm gonna stay under this i'm gonna be fine you yeah know? they were they were busting for a win they were absolutely busting yeah uh do we all we all took the was with the exception exception of your sister jeffrey brook and axel mm. uh was pumped them uh no one fucking jeff the only person take the sharks so yeah mm. I guess. Yeah, I, I, I mean, you take sharks. the tigers, you take the sharks. Yeah, yeah. we we thought they were slumping. They're out of the slump. They're coming back. Should be a good one this week. Mm. Uh, we all had the storm. I assume they won, right? They did. Uh, yeah. We stuck with our Panthers uh, tip, right? Did you? Mm -hmm. You did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I took Manly for some reason. Did I do that on the show? Eh? Can't remember. Oh, fuck. I took Manly for some reason. Fuck my life. <laughs> uh, and I took the dogs because I'm a brave boy. And yeah, good. Good for me. I'm out of last place, everybody, playing at home. I'm feeling good. If you're in our tipping Congratulations. Comp, you're in fucking danger. I'm coming for it. <laughs> Harry's only eight points ahead of me. That's easy. Oh, I can do only that. Only eight. Yeah. We're I'll what? do it this week. We're, <laughs> yeah, we're, round we're, 15. We're, yeah, we're just over halfway. So. Yeah. I'm in it. Yeah, you got to get it. <laughs> you you got to start some getting some ballsy tips here, but yeah, yeah we'll see how you go. Fuck it. I've only got one bit of news. I've mm -hmm. only got one little bit of news. Uh, Lockie Gal won out. Uh, yeah. 
Buzz Roth, and I feel like this is a lie. It could absolutely be a fabrication. Uh, Buzz Rothfield was reporting that Lockie Galvin was walking around the change room just being like, I can't wait to get the fuck out of here. I can't wait. Uh, a bit mm. rude, right? If if true, yeah. I mean, young guy probably doesn't know, probably should be holding his tongue. Not a very yeah. mature thing to do, allegedly. Yeah, has probably played, he's played like less than 10 games for them, right? I don't feel like yeah. they started with him in the halves. And they've had a couple of buys. They've had at least two buy rounds. So, yeah, Ugh. not a good look. Not a good look, Lachlan. Um, no, not at all. But, you know, he was been playing with a broken hand, apparently. They've been asking him to play because they need him, getting pain-killing injections. Um, I've also seen reports that. that he wants out. He wants to potentially join the Panthers, who are I mean, losing. me too, bro. I, me too. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, because obviously Luai is going to the Tigers. Yeah, they need a six, whether it's Schneider or Cole yeah. or maybe a Galvin. Yeah, potentially. Or maybe a Hargraves or a Petropolis. We'll see. Potentially I a do Stern. A, I do a good job. Oh, I mean, you know, I do a fine job playing next yeah. to Nathan Cleary. You well, know, and, do until fine. Cleary does his hamstring again, and then all yeah. of a sudden you got to run the team. Yeah, yeah. Then we're going to have a problem. <laughs> then we're going to have a serious <laughs> maybe problem. Maybe I'm calling in sick. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> going to have to run Schneider and Cole this week. Sorry, Ivan. Yeah, been... yeah. Um, yeah, good Good for Lockie. He's in the news, at least, I guess. Um, should we tip? I could tip if I could tip another perfect round. What is that? I don't know. Okay, all right. Um, I, I don't know what you're referencing there. But, uh, na, 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 na. I feel like that's oh, Willy yeah, Wonka, right? That's yes, yes. Yeah, that's right. yeah, that's Willy Wonka. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, first game we have got the aquatic battle. We've got an aquatic battle here. We've got the sharks yeah. versus the dolphins at I assume Shark Park points yes. bet. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, this should be a good one. The dolphins paying three dollars thirty four. I like that for value because they are absolutely capable of beating mm. the sharks. Uh, let me have a look at these teams, though. I haven't really looked at the teams. I haven't done my homework That's this okay. week. I've, I've looked at the teams, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> you go you go ahead. Tell me who's going to win this game. Well, Nicholas Hines is back. Oh, my after God. Getting shut, shut the fuck up. Can we talk about Tavita Pangai Jr.? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Need, we need him in the Blues team. Oh, no. my God. No. He's, Man, do you remember when he got picked last year? Yeah. Is he eligible? <laughs> Hello? Um, Match. Oh God, Jesus Christ! One we of the need a bit selections. of pizzazz. <laughs> yeah, no pizzazz, no pizzazz. Yeah, when does he no, start? Yeah. He's um so ridiculous, right? Like <laughs> quits quits rugby league because he says he's not passionate about it. Wants to be a boxer. Like does eight it months for ago. Like two weeks, and then he's <laughs> yeah. like, actually, I love rugby league. <laughs> Yeah, bring me yeah, back yeah, yeah 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 he loses his fight as well i'm pretty sure like in the fucking first or second round yeah <laughs> i i really hope that they've paid him like bargain baseball oh, train and trial stuff yeah yeah fuck me yeah. And, he, and he's gonna brain it probably <laughs> for one year yeah <laughs> he's gonna play origin bro he's gonna be there for game three <laughs> no more <laughs> Um, I think I'm going to take the Sharks for this one, probably, because I'm a scaredy cat and I like tipping the favourites. Yeah, look at this team. Nicholas Hines is back. I love that. Mm. Toby Rudolph is a motherfucker. Um, yep. Fucks yeah. dudes. Respectfully. Love it. Respectfully. Probably fucks dudes and chicks at the same time, I imagine. He's yeah. that kind of guy. Yeah. Um, he, has, he has said that um, he swings in all directions. Yeah. Love that. Love that yeah. for him. Love we that love for that the game. For yeah. Um, <laughs> spread a seed spread it um, yeah this Tolfans tape I mean everybody's back from origin is the uh, the headline mm. and... Nick Arima back as well from a calf injury but oh that's good yeah the, the Sharks the, the Sharks after that form slump they look back to their winning ways and they're at home Dolphins as you said they're a good team this year but Sharks they should get the job done I'm, I'm tipping Sharks by 10 points here this will be a good test for the Dolphins Yep. Uh, next game, we've got the Raiders versus the Cowdoys. I think oh, not as much value. That's weird. You'd think second and fourth place. There's more value in fourth place than fifth and twelfth. Mm. Um, let me have a look at these Raiders teams while you talk. Sure. Well, Hudson Young's back on the edge after Origin. Uh, the Cam Camper had the bye last week, so they'll be rested. Uh, North Queensland, Robson Talungi back after getting a post-Origin rest. 
And also McLean back from a calf injury. Tom Malolo named it lock after coming off the bench several times this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fun um, for him. Don't buy him in fantasy. We've been here not, before. Do not We've do it. We've been here. Don't do, do it. Do not do okay? it. Don't do it. It's no, not. never again. I've made that I did mistake. It. I did it, and then you did it the next That's year. That's right. I, I did. I did. <laughs> yeah, I don't do it. I hate it. Don't do never. it. Never. Don't, don't touch it. Yeah, should be banned. Um, the, the Cowboys have won their last four in a row against the Raiders, but these teams are obviously a little bit different. You know, Raiders showing some really good fight, have the bye. Um, I, I'm going to tip with my gut here in this game because it's yep. hard to split them. Cowboys have a lot of origin players, right? And instead of going with the theory that origin players get tired, I'm going with the theory that origin players are maybe accessing at this time of year a higher level of play, a higher standard for themselves. And I have a feeling, gut feeling, that those origin players, because there's six of them in the Cowboys team, are going to are just playing their dicks off because they're just they're tuned in to origin yeah. mentality. I've got cows winning cowboys winning in this game yeah. i'll save six points yeah i am gonna i'm gonna tip the raiders but i don't hate that um mm. i feel like that's good i mean what did zach lomax scored like 36 points in 72 hours or something you know yeah something fucked like that so i think there is merit to that mm. and i could flip i could flip um yeah but i'm gonna take the raiders because they are just yeah. i just don't know what to what, what the fuck am i gonna do with this raiders team like i never know what they're doing they're so good just, they but just who are they like they just keep winning that's and that's all you really need to do in rugby league um yeah next right. game we have got the south sydney rabbitos coming off a famous win against the titans against the brisbane broncos uh bunnies at home at a core eh, it's not really anyone's home is it and um, let me look at this tristan sailor reese walsh is dead still i assume yeah i think so yeah Oh yeah, it was eleven days stand down. So uh, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, this should be a good game. Hey, yeah. Mm. Or maybe where's Adam? What, what's wrong with Adam Reynolds? Why isn't he back yet? Um, How? he tore tore his pec. It's like a three month injury. Jesus Christ! Could you imagine I, Kier, Kieran Foran is playing more games than Adam Reynolds? Yeah, crazy. <laughs> I, he either tore his pec or did does rupture his bicep. I can't remember. It was one of the two. I'm getting maybe getting yeah. mixed up with. Jamal Fogarty, they're yeah. both similar oh, long-term yeah. injuries. Oh, yeah, uh, Jock Man and Ezra Mam against Jack White and Cody Walker. Are you going to tip the Rabbitohs in this one? It's a really tricky one because Cameron Murray's back after a long injury layoff. Luttrell yeah. looking to get that center spot for New South Wales. Origin Luttrell is scary. Um, yeah. Well, Latrell trying to get a Blues jersey is scary. Sometimes he's not always as scary once he's in that jersey. Yeah. Um, I just, due to historically how they've been this season, I'm going to be safe and tip the Broncos. But yeah. the alarm bells for me are ringing because yeah. we, Bunnies have won two in a row now, might be in a bit of a resurgence. Um, I don't have the guts to tip them. So I'm going Brisbane by eight points. But if the Rabbitohs come out and brain it, I wouldn't be surprised because they look like they have it in them right now. Yeah. That's hard. That's hard. I wish I had a third person on this panel so I could just ask, like, like you know how, like, in Vikings, they have that fucking soothsayer that lives up in the mountain and he's, like, fucking face is all fucked up and they go to him and ask for advice. I wish we had something similar on this show. Yeah, you need you need a, a, a we need a sage. Someone to just go. Mm. Yes. We match. Yeah, someone just like throw some stones on the ground and be like, <laughs> rabbitos. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. Oh no, I'm not gonna. I'm yeah. I'm gonna back the Broncos. Yeah, 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 yeah. All it's right, a safe next. tip. All right. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's tip safely. Mm. Um, next game, game of the round potentially. Um, we've got <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, the West Appy Coruscants in halfback Tigers. Mm-hmm. Uh, against the Kino Kini Titans. How good. Yeah. Fuck. And your boy, Brent Naden, back at center for the Tigers. <laughs> oh, he's not my boy. <laughs> yeah, you, you've got you've got Naden at center and Staines on the wing. That's one of the greatest uh, Mike combinations there ever was. Why is Buller got a 21 next to his name and not the one? I, I saw that. that. 
I saw that. Yeah, he's wearing the 21 jersey. I don't know. Have they? There might be one of those things where they retire the number one jersey due to like someone who's died or something. But they haven't told anybody. It, it might be on their website. I haven't looked, but yeah, yeah. maybe Adam Dewey's got the number one. Maybe no, I, I, I looked through. There's no one in the one, number one jersey. That's weird. There's nothing in the notes here either. That's so weird. Yeah, uh, yeah. Look, I think yeah, probably Titans for this one, right? But this is all time postling. I'm gonna be glued to the TV for this one, I imagine. Um, mm. what do we got? Titans more or less. I mean, Jaden Campbell at five eight. I hate that. I feel like the halves pairing yeah. is probably better. Like we know Appy can play seven. Uh, it's not his favorite, but he can. Um, fucking Talon the Browse to Silver at fucking. Uh, hooker, else? I love that. Chris Randall yeah. back where he belongs at hooker as well. Um, yeah, yeah well, we, I, got, we got Philip Sammy back as well from a hamstring injury. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, love that for him. And our bench looks pretty good. Theirs looks pretty shit. Uh, theirs is all forwards, isn't it? The fuck? Um, yeah, Titans for me. What do you think? Mm, yeah, the Titans actually have a dominant historical record against West Tigers. Um, over They've played 26 matches between them. Titans winning 17 of those. So two-thirds of those matches they win since they've started. Uh, and that includes the last five in a row Titans mm. have beat the Tigers. I am, I'm going to back my boys to bounce back. They had a bad loss on the weekend. Um, that we played that game at my house, house party. Um, I think they should bounce back here against the Tigers, who have, I think, lost nine in a row and very injury-affected. So, Titans by 10. Yeah. Cool. Uh, 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 tastes like steak. Uh, next next game, we have got the Warriors versus the Storm. The Storm just silently in first place. Hey, I feel like I mentioned it last week, but they are just, they're just up there, not taking any shots at anybody. They're just they sort just of up it. there, just... They're just like, yeah, this is where we belong. This is, you know, this is cool by us. That might win the whole the damn comp. job. Like, yeah. it's, it's crazy. Bunch of psychos up there. And how the fuck are the Waz in 10th paying $1.95? Like, it should be more. Uh, let me peruse these teams. Sean Johnson's back. Uh, love He's that for them. That's probably where the value's coming from. More or less full strength, right? Uh, yeah, got... two of us are Sheck, not quite back yet, but I think he'll be back next oh, week. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. And of course, Freddie Lusick. And who AFB is there? Yeah, Wade Egan. Yeah, he's, is he their first choice hooker? Wade Egan for sure. Someone else? Yep, yeah. Egan. Hmm. Mm, this will be a good one too. What else is on Saturday? Oh, Eels Roosters. Lock yourself in for Super Saturday. Holy shit, it's going to be a good one. Mm. Yeah, it's actually a a good Super Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. You sort of like yeah, Tigers Titans entree, Wise Storm. That's good. Mm-hmm. And then fucking eels roosters. There's some feeling there. We'll get to them. Um, where is you, Cameron? Where's Cameron Munster? How how injured is he? Um, he did something groin. Yeah, and he's not back till after Origin. Mm. Mm. But yes, Melbourne. Uh, by the way, bef- I know I know you're you're cooking up some sort of Warriors at home victory here. I will just say this: the okay. Storm have won. 15 straight games against New Zealand. Yeah. And, and they do that. I, I listened. They, I mean, the the Broncos snapped the streak that Melbourne had against them last year in the finals. So streaks are made to be broken, mm-hmm. but they're also made to be extended. Um, uh, personally, I'm going to, as you know, I love streaks. Yeah. I'm going to go with Melbourne here to win. Streaky um, guy. But I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, streaky guy. Uh, I hope, I think Storm will win by six. But I actually hope the Warriors win because I love them. They're my dogs. Your your dogs are my Warriors. Yeah, I'm going to take the Storm, I think. Um, yeah, me too. Uh, Tyron Wishart is pretty good at 5'8", so they should be fine. Yeah. Uh, the Warriors are your dogs? No. The Warriors were everybody's dogs last year. Uh, they're they're I'm my not, dogs I'm, this year. I'm not hearing as much up the Waz this year. They're not doing so yeah. good. You know, and everybody's kind of silent on that. Um, 
I just like the dogs, man. Don't. <laughs> I know. I know. You have one of your greatest passions. <laughs> I was trying to explain it to Jess last night. She was like, why do you care about this team? And I'm just like, they're just a bunch of battlers. Like, and they're just hard. they just work hard for each other. They're not good. No one in particular is really good at their position. Probably just Critter, right? And the rest of them just fucking fight hard for each other. And they're a good fucking team. I love that. Mm-hmm. There are better Titans. I think I said that last week. Uh, <laughs> repeat myself. Uh, yeah. Uh, next game, we have got the Eels versus the Roosters. Eels coming off a frustrating loss. I mean, fucking sucks to be a Parramatta fan, right? It always Ooh. has. It's never stopped sucking to be a Parramatta fan. Even when you win, you know. Like the Sword of Damocles, it's over your head. Always. It's there. It's there. Uh, roosters. Easy Roosters. I don't even have to look at the teams. Uh, they look pretty full strength, right? Yeah. Mm, I check. Basically. I checked my fantasy players were in there. Sam Walker, James Tedesco, and Angus Crichton. That's all I need to see. That's mm-hmm. fine. Who you got? Well, you got Roosters also coming off a bye. Um, and Connor Watson back, as I said earlier, from his throat injury. Who just replaces Brandon Smith outright, who's out of the squad altogether. Oh, after yeah, getting that, that was breach news, notice. wasn't it? He, yeah. yeah, he got that breach notice for not uh, turning up to a mid-year review. Yes. Forgot it was on. Forgot it was on. Uh, 100%, 100% Cheese's fault. You should have put something in your diary or an alarm yeah. the day before to remind you. Put it on the fucking calendar, bro. Um, mm-hmm. But did you see that uh, Cheese's partner came out um, and sort of took some of the blame, tried to take some of the blame for him? Said mm-hmm. that they were at brunch with his mother and Brandon is always on his phone. So he decided to leave his phone at home yes, for the brunch. Yes, I did see pressured, that, yeah. Pressured into it by his missus. Can you imagine if that had happened to you and then you get home and you're looking at your phone and work has just been blowing up your fucking phone being like, hey, mm. you were supposed to hear, be here for this fucking meeting. Where the fuck are you? Just answer your fucking phone. I'd look at it and just go. Yeah. Straight to my fucking missus and be like, you see what happens? Yeah, see what fucking happens. See what fucking happens. <laughs> uh, yeah, and for that reason, I've got the Roosters. Uh, yeah. <laughs> completely yeah. dropped. He, the, the Chiefs just wants to play Wardle. Okay? Yeah. Let, let the man do his brain teasers. <laughs> let the man do his Wordle at the brunch with his mother, please. Seriously, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, you got to go with the Roosters here. Uh, yeah, Parramatta, obviously better with... Uh, Moses said their choice, first choice halves who Moses he's going to want to play well you'd think he wants that blue spot so he'll want to put into big performance but Roosters had the buy a lot of firepower I'm going to Roosters by 12 here yeah fuck yeah uh, next game we've got Sunday 2pm Sunday shit show oh yeah nah probably not probably don't watch Sunday I think I've got plans I think I'm going to a winery um, not think I know I've actually booked it uh, we have got the Manly Seagulls versus the Dragons. Value in the Dragons here, hey. Um, mm. They put on a fucking clinic the other night against the Tigers, right? They yeah. certainly, certainly did. And it's a really hi- tough one to tip. They're higher on the ladder than Manly. Uh, mm. I'm going to take the Dragons, hey. Yep. More or less full strength again. Uh, amateur fullback for the for manly mm-hmm. yes that's right rookie lehigh hopper rooks hasn't blown up like i thought he was going to hey um he's just doing this job right then now I, then i hope that he might um mount Paseca's back in there um yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i'm gonna take the dragons yep dragons for me what about you okay interesting you say that mm-hmm. as i said earlier very tough game to tip you know, very. But these teams have performed pretty similar this season. Both had some big wins. You know, um, uh, Manly beat Penrith. You know, three or four weeks ago. I can't remember when it was. Um, so I got here in my notes, and while I was going through my tips, I just couldn't make up my mind who I wanted to tip here. So mm-hmm. I said here in my notes, I'm just going to tip the opposite of whoever Mike tips. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so I'm going Manly <laughs> to win by two points. Fuck yeah, take it. I got Dragons by four. Um, I'll, but I'll lock it in right now. I'll lock it yeah. in right now. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. Um, too bad I'll be busy. Uh, all right. That's and when I move back down to the coast, this is the type of thing that. Oh, okay. We're gonna. This is gonna be the shit game that we watch together. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Sweet. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I'll pop over. Um. All right. Next game. Do not even bother to watch this. Knights v Panthers. 
let me look at these. Look, I'm not even going to look at the Panthers team. I know it's good. Who the mm. fuck is Fletcher Sharp? Mm. Um, hey, he's just one of their their young guys replacing Armstrong, who's looks to be out of favor now. Sharp may be ahead in the pecking order. I just saw a thing that he's um he's potentially backflipping on his deal. Um, yeah, to go with to the, the Knights Super League. to go to yeah Lockie Lamb's Lee Leopards, uh, mm. the, the best uh, jersey in rugby league history, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, well, you, you've got to think that obviously he's behind Ponga. He's always going to be number one. They've got yeah. Sharp and Will Price there. Maybe Armstrong's been told that you know you're it's you're you're fourth in line, and he's right. probably going to go over there and get win the Man of Steel. You know what I mean? Yeah. He'll be the best player in the league. That's it. Then that sounds like a good plan for him. And yeah, yeah I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the Panthers. But I'm looking at this round fifteen summary now, and other than the Sharks, I've only picked away teams, which Ooh, is wow. alarm alarm bells, I think. I don't love that for me. I don't you wanna see a that's Aren't not you gonna happen. The Raiders? Raiders are at home, right? I flipped. You flip. <laughs> don't follow me into the fire. This is right. my fire. Get out of my no, fire. Okay, okay, I'll flip back. I'll flip back. And who you got for this one, Matthew? Uh, well, I mean, Panthers. you, you got to, as we said at the start of the year, we said we got to just hit the Panthers every single week and not question it. Um, they have lost actual cup. I think they were in third. But mm. yeah, as I said, Bradman Best is going to want to win uh, that Blues jersey with one good performance here. Dylan Edwards is back for Panthers. Hopefully he gets through the game fit. Liam Martin named in the reserve with an ankle injury. I hope he's fit because he was an absolute D-A-W-G in Origin 1. Yeah. Panthers is a safe bet here. You've got to tip the Panthers. Panthers by 12 points. Yeah. You know who's loving life right now? Who? Paul Alamotti. Oh, How yeah. How good. You were like second or third string center for the best team in the comp. Um, and, and they fucked it. Like the the guy in front of you completely fucking dropped the ball, and here you are. Absolutely, he's imploded personally. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, love that. You'd be, just be a trainer, just being like seeing him, like you'd see it happening. You'd know, you'd hear whispers, and you'd just be like, "Fuck yes, let's go. yeah, rise of the Alamotti." Yeah, let's go. And he got that dog in him too. Um, all right, comments. I thought, I thought we'd scared him off with the ableism, uh, but he's back. <laughs> William Pearson is back and he writes Titans haven't, Titans haven't beaten the Rabbitohs at Seabus Stadium since 2009 mm. uh, that yeah, still remains that. true still remains true yeah uh, and then he writes he hates the Titan he say I hate the Titans why what the hell dude who hates them why who we hates haven't them? done anything we've literally done nothing they're to be pitied not hated yeah come on bro don't be like give that. us a break I know you're not watching. Um, oh, he's in everybody's comments. Hey, uh, Epic Armadillo, uh, who is not Ben, um, doesn't write like Ben. Uh, the Knights mascot has a sword. So, th- <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about something else. Sorry. Uh, the Knights mascot has a sword, so they should beat the Storm like they did earlier in the year. Um, William Pearson not- jump. <laughs> no, they did not. Uh, William Pearson jumps in and says, Storm will smash the Knights in Melbourne. Uh, you say, does a sword beat a storm? Would it act like a lightning rod? And Epic Armadillo comes back in with the mascot, will jump into the air, and they will stab the clouds in the sky, and that's how the storm ends. Yeah, I mean, that no, that did, that did not come to light. I d- you cannot kill a storm with a sword, Epic Armadillo. No. That's silly. Think. You need a, you need a mace. Think. All right. <laughs> No, you need you need you need a gust of wind or something. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah. Uh, Rugby league history uh, hits us with I think the King's formerly Queen's birthday bank holiday is not observed in Queensland, but they have it in New mm. South Wales yes. and two to three other states. Same as the Labor Day bank holiday, which is the day after the grand final for Queensland, is not working day. So if one of their teams win the grand final, they have to show up to work the next day. Um, I love how you knew that and we did not. You don't even mm. live here. I appreciate yeah. that. You did live yeah. here for a long time, so I guess that's fair that you do know that. But I love that you retained it. Uh, Simon Ashwin writes, uh, I'm pretty sure Future Body Tech, Armadillo, and other commenters on this video are all Ben. No, come on. Maybe you, Simon. Mm, maybe, maybe you. Maybe, maybe you. you. Yeah, maybe that's a, that's a deflection right there. <laughs> Remember when I told Ben to share his screen and then just like show us the uh-huh. Switch account on YouTube and he refused? 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this this is the price we pay when uh he's he misses so many episodes he still wants to be involved yeah yeah ben no, stop cheating no. uh history of football writes i've never been to a bucks party or invited but i've heard some funny stories about people that have probably the funniest was someone who pissed and shit themselves the night before and were late to their own wedding um our buck did piss himself did we cover that <laughs> yeah important note shout out. So, oh nice you're wearing a good yeah, you're wearing the shirt shout uh out. yeah shout out he, yeah he's, he's he's certainly did yeah and, but did we um, we did did we cover that on the show we might have i i honestly can't remember we've covered pissed it himself. yeah <laughs> 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 just in just in case you didn't hear us he pissed himself and he told yeah. everyone that he did he showed it i mean he walked up to me and was like michael i i, I pissed myself and i was like that's a, that's okay man like like just you know, uh, I can't. I can't, fuck. I fucked that story up. But like, yeah, he came up to me and said, "I've pissed myself." And I was like, "When?" And he's like, "Just now." And I looked down, and he had piss all running down the side of his leg. <laughs> I was like, "A change, uh, bro." <laughs> he was very. It was very honest that night. He was very uh, honest. Jeff Stern writes the reason I am leading the tipping comp. It's not anymore. Not, not anymore, bro. Uh, is because I do the opposite of what you fools think uh the just the tip experts ninth and tenth because we don't have any more contestants try ninth and eighth motherfucker let's yeah, go it's the climb <laughs> it is the climb thank you miley yeah. uh next one william pearson is back again two days ago william yeah keep coming back for it uh he, he says i'm a i'm a queensland maroon supporter sure i think he thank loves you. i think he loves sucking cameron smith's cock not the golfer. Absolutely. He would love it. I think William would get down on his knees and just fucking on yeah, that old man for, 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 for his service to his his team and his his alleged state. I'm gonna ask him, would you suck Cameron Smith's cock if he asked? There we go. Good, nice. Um and then if he responds, I'm gonna say, and watch the show, you dog. Don't just comment on it. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, is that too mean? Should I? No. I've had um, a... We'll see. We'll see what he comes back with. See we'll if he see reports what he says. Us. Yeah. If he if he comes for me, I'm coming for him. No, okay. no, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, know. <laughs> I, I saw. I saw you in high school. <laughs> I still got that dog in me. I'm yeah, nice. I know now. you I'm do. Nice. I know I've you do. I've got a partner. I'm calmed down. I'm a nicer guy, but I still have that. I still have it in me. Maybe that's why you like the dog so much. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Your dog. I've got a dog. Uh, you got a hypothetical for me, or we're just going to run with that story at the start? I got a hypothetical. Yes. Fuck, you're so prepared. Fuck me. Yeah, because I knew that the, the, the man's not here. Ben's not here. So you got, someone's going to step up to the plate. Um, okay, here's a hypothetical for you. Mm -hmm. You know how um, when people sneeze, you say, bless you? Yeah. Or gesundheit? Yeah. Um, if you could change what people say when people sneeze, what would you change yep. it to? Um, just off the dome, I think just like a good little oi. Like someone goes, that's you. And everybody goes, oi. Yeah, that's that's pretty good, actually. It's yeah. short but sweet. Yeah, just a little oi. Oi. <laughs> yeah. Oi. Yeah, everyone oi. just, yeah, get, get it nice and uh, synchronized. I like that yeah. answer. That's that's a good that's a good one. What did you have? Uh, I, I was thinking maybe you could like sing a really short tune, um, but it's just random. Like someone sneezes. Like a fucking you. dishwasher? Like, yeah, <laughs> almost like do, 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 do. Like, uh, yeah. or, um, you know, say something which is completely unrelated. Because, like, you say someone sneezes and everyone goes, crunchy roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> something like that. Just like a fun little, like a two word song. Yeah. I think that would slow so much of our society down if we had to sing a little tune every time someone sneezed everyone sneezing and they're just people were singing all the time yeah and you'd be upset if someone like oh no one no one no sang one the sang? no one sang the crunchy roll song when crunchy i sneezed just roll. now that's fucked um yeah. okay. i like yours i like yours everyone just goes oi oi <laughs> yeah um it's like a like a uh what do you say like a like a uh 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 an acknowledgement. It's an acknowledgement yes. that you sneezed. Yeah, yeah. it is. But yeah, not, yeah. Acknowledgement. But not found in God or anything like that. Yeah. Um, thummy? You want to do a thummy? I could thumb. Um, I uh, think I think for our thumb, I'm going to be wishing upon a star. 
That's a good one. Yeah. Should I'm, I'm always here. so aggressive. Should I just... Whoa, whoa, why are you fighting? What, what are you fighting about? Because I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm fighting William Pearson. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. All right, sweet. All right, well, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to do this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, do. that's good. That's good. Um, you can take us out. You love taking us out, right? You, did you do it last week? I did it last. I did it last week. No, you you do it this week. Okay. Let's 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 rotate it. All right, all right. I can't remember what he says, but thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us. This has been uh, just a tip. I've been Mike. That's been Matt. Ben has not been present. Uh, thank you so much for joining us again. We 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 tip with your head right over it. Uh, thank you all. Good night and and fuck yourselves. Crunchy roll. Crunchy. flipped you flipped <laughs> don't follow me into the fire it's my right. fire get out of my no, fire. okay okay i'll flip back i'll flip back